Here we have a Minimax tuner that came in for a black screen. If you do not know what a Minimax tuner is, just look it up. Google is your friend. I've done a lot of those on the channel. And still some people ask, what is a Minimax tuner? Just look it up on Google. Anything that you want, go to Google. Do not be lazy. If we plug the cable, I did hear the tone on the tuner, but the screen is black. See, I do hear the tone, but the screen is black. It looks like somebody opened that tuner before because the top is opened. Usually we have to force it open. And the motherboard with the screen looks something like this. That's the whole tuner. The first thing I want to do is check the LCD connector. Quick visual inspection. Oh, look at this. I see corrosion. Slight corrosion on this side of the board. I did not read what the customer wrote on his ticket, but we can figure it out. Slight corrosion. I do see slight corrosion right here. If we flip the board in the same area, I see nothing on the back. Minimax tuners are one of those devices that we get in every day. Sometimes they come in for a white screen, sometimes for a black screen, sometimes they do not power on or they're not recognized when you plug the HDMI cable to the vehicle. I have over, I would say, 40, 50 videos working on Minimax tuners. I do not see corrosion anywhere on the board, on the side of the board. If we flip the board, I see some right here. But nothing concerning. I see a solder blob right here, and I see a solder blob right here. Looks like somebody tampered with that board. And I see a bridge right there. Why am I pointing with the brush? I see a bridge right here. Now that we know somebody tampered with the board, we have to take a closer look at all the components. It looks like this is some type of flux or maybe toothpaste or something. The person who worked on this likely has no idea and maybe they used toothpaste or butter, something. Okay, so we have to take a closer look here. Maybe we can go over those components quick. And I do not see any issues on this side of the board. Let me remove the screen. Focus the camera. 
and no corrosion on those components. There should be Captain tape over those components. It's been removed. Oh, whoa, look at this. We likely have two broken traces. I think we have a broken trace here and a broken trace here. Anything else? Okay. I do not know what those two broken traces do, but we're going to have to fix them. Add some flux. And let's make that board better than factory. Okay, so we're going to be using the NF Mini soldering pan. I mentioned in the previous video that this is the most used tool on the bench. NF Mini. If you're a hobbyist or in the same type of business and you do a lot of soldering, you have to get that pen. Just log in to northwishfix.com, click on shop, add to cart, check out pay, and we almost always ship out same day. We now have the red version, the special edition red version, and you can purchase everything from this awesome pen, this awesome microscope, hot air stations, soldering stations, thermal camera, voltage injection tool, flux, the original Amtec flux that we are using here, not butter, not toothpaste. All items are in stock, unless the item is not in stock. You know the deal. Let's look at the back of the board one more time. Now that we know that the board has been tampered with, we have to take a closer look at everything, every single component. Before I was doing just a quick visual inspection, but now we have to take into consideration that maybe one of the components has been tampered with or maybe not soldered properly. All right, so all is left to do is fix the screen and we should be all good. You see, we have two broken traces. I knew it. Right now I have the anti-glare light on. If we do off on the anti-glare, we would get something like this, all the reflections, the glare, go back to anti-glare and it's like day and night. If you do not already have the anti-glare light, just log into our site. Everything is on our site. I mention it in every video for all new viewers. Right, so we are set on this wire. It's a tiny microscopic wire. The 
that's one trace. Now let's do the other one. All right, so we restored the traces. We're all good. What I want to do is test to make sure that we have a continuous path. Maybe we can grind right here. And a little bit right here. Meter in diode mode. And we can measure from here to here. Good. And we can measure from here. So here, good. And we can measure if those two wires are shortened out by measuring from here to here. And they're not. Okay, so we did an awesome job. Now we do not know if the screen itself is functional or non-functional, or if there's anything going on with the screen. But we'll see. One way to find out. One way to find out. Let me show you what I did quick. That microscopic area right there, we restored two traces. And what we're going to do is plug the screen on the board. Just like that. And we're going to plug the cable. Are we going to see a black screen or are we going to see an image? That's the question. I saw something flash on the screen. And I think we, yes, yes, we got it. We got it. The tuner is working. Awesome. We did an amazing job. Unplug. We're going to put it back in the shell. Glue it and mail it back to the customer. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll do something else in the next video.